Hey slabs, it's been a while, hasn't it? By that I mean a while since I've done a gameplay video with commentary. <sighs> Drinking San Pellegrino prickly pear and orange flavor. And I've got chisps here. Flaming hot Fritos. And I've also got some radishes. Who needs chisps when you've got radishes, right? Well, this video is going to be about shotguns, mostly. Doesn't mean I'm going to be using shotguns the whole time. But I'm going to try to focus on talking about shotguns in Borderlands 1 and how to pick a good one because I've been watching a lot, a whole lot of Twitch streams lately. And something I've noticed is a whole lot of people who play this game develop, uh, I wouldn't call it a disdain, more like a dismissal or rather a dismissive attitude towards shotguns because the ones that you get earlier in the game mostly tend to suck. Naturally, I'll discuss my current equipment first. This is a perfectly parted shield. I don't know all the shield parts in this game. I've, I've tried my best to memorize as much as I can. I researched the Borderlands wiki and committed as much to memory as I could manage, which is perhaps a bit easier for me than for normal people because I have eidetic memory like Sheldon Cooper. Anyway, this is what a perfectly parted shield looks like in Borderlands 1. I refer to these parts as three prongs for the left side dog dish hubcap for the middle, soda can for the right side. Explosive Merv, good well-rounded grenade type. Oh, also you might notice that this is OGBL1 or Oscar Golf Bravo Lima 1 as Axton would say as opposed to Enhanced Edition. Uh, fire and Electric SNS Machine Pistols for backup weapons. <clears throat> masher, because of course you need a masher, even if you've got a shotgun. This is going to be a really good, well-rounded shotgun. And of course, got to have a machine gun. Good primary for rolling, good backup weapon for anyone else. And this one has barrel three, body three, and stock two. This master has barrel one that looks like, I don't know what body type that is, Looks like body one, but 1.3 fire rate is better than what body one typically affords on a TD or revolver. But this is what we're going to focus on. This very excellent SNS shotgun, barrel four. I'm not sure what body type it has, but I'd hazard an educated guess that it's most likely body two since it has a fire rate of 
because if it had body one, it would have a fire rate of 1.0, I think. Barrel four is the most powerful and is the third most accurate. And uh, I think I already mentioned that I have these mostly as backup weapons. Got a shield breaker, and the fire weapon is mostly for dealing with alpha skags. Pretty sure acid weapons become available at level 15. Oh, and this is also a perfectly parted shield. <clears throat> so acid weapons become available at level 15, which is a tier for Hyperion and Malawan. I was going to give some of this stuff to a buddy. Oh uh, yeah, that shotgun's totally outmoded. But that was, I mean, the, the friend I was planning on giving this stuff to, that was, uh, I don't know, some time ago. Years ago. A couple of years, at least. This launcher has a good body type. Well, that's just a good, well-rounded machine pistol right there. I can sell this. And this. Oh, and look. These two shields are not only perfectly parted, but also purple. And I don't really necessarily need this, but it's... just too good to get rid of. All right. I do backseat gaming right. At least I try to. I think the highest level of weapons that you find in this shop on playthrough one I think it goes up to, I want to say, 16. I'm going to disregard actual missions right now. Because this isn't about getting stuff done. This is about methodology, I guess you could say. I chose this color because it's the most torg like Since I currently bear the Torg logo behind my character portrait. Also notice how, well, I haven't changed my character colors to match that. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. I think my current character skin colors are looking kind of cross between Dahl and Malawan, I guess. OD green combined with red and blue. It's hard to seek new opportunities with old equipment. Upgrade now. Step right up. 
Not bad, not bad. Contact is too ordinary. I want something with more, I don't know, flavor to it. More panache. Oh, by the way, that Torg Hunter's shotgun that I sold had barrel five. I should have talked about that. I have other characters. I might put together a compilation. I don't know if I, I'm... Since this is a blah, 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 yakety schmackety video that's all about logistics and methodology and whatnot. I'll just probably... Zone sportsmanship style. You missed that. Probably should have this equipped. And I foresee this character bearing the S and S logo before too long. Spoiled the view, Cactoid. I know everyone says, I mean just about everyone says, that the soldier characters in Borderlands games are too boring and ordinary, but I've never agreed with that. That's true. Roland's skill set. Portions of it anyway are team focused but that makes perfect sense that's in keeping with his military background it's just a fact that Roland is more fun to play in co-op Morty is just as much fun to play Solo as co -op. See how I aimed just slightly off center there? I've talked about this in previous Borderlands 1 videos I've done, but. Uh, revolvers, more specifically, mashers. A barrel 2. A barrel type that's only good on mashers. Sometimes you'll find that at a certain distance you'll increase your hit probability if you aim just like ah! to the side. One side or the other. And the sights on revolver barrel 2 seem to be geared toward that. It's almost as if it's a barrel designed with mashers in mind. The Hyperion Death Shotgun would be able to make this distance with Barrel 5, maybe even with Barrel 3. <laughs> the vast majority of Death Shotguns have Barrel 5, but because of Hyperion's accuracy, they can have less accurate barrels
and it's still classified as a death shotgun. A death shotgun, by the way, is a high accuracy assault shotgun. <laughs> high accuracy assault shotgun that has an unlisted crit bonus. And I don't know why it's unlisted. I used to think that Morty's Ranger class mod, if it's built from Material 2, actually buffed death shotguns, but I might be mistaken about that. The, the wiki phrases it as uh, regarding the Ranger class mod. If you, if you have one with a listed crit bonus, it buffs all weapons that have listed crit bonus. Now, there's no logical reason why it shouldn't also buff death shotguns, but their crit bonus is unlisted for no logical reason. So. Just an example of an awesome weapon that could be more awesome, but is rendered potentially less awesome by video game logic. That also illustrates why I hate video game logic. Flat off shotguns never impress me as much as SNS. Flat off and TDR are my least used brands. Frivolous tactical reload. Could have some fun with this. Yeah, this has barrel one and body one, so two of the most basic parts. But the cylinder is mag two, I think. Is not technically a mag, but a cylinder. Get those some bitches. Oh, by the way, something else I noticed: pe most people who play Borderlands 2 and then play Borderlands 1, they don't. <laughs> they don't usually take out barrels finishing move Your enemies will use those against you. Time to pound some meat, Bob. Oh, that hurt. Electric versus electric, then.
Yeah, I made it look like, and then totally unintentionally, but I made it look like I was manually deactivating it, like Axton. I just don't like two shooters. <clears throat> Actually, a good shotgun. I mean, it's white, yeah, but it's got good parts. Barrel three, a good enough body. Torque shotguns always have good handling characteristics. Anyway. Cock the gun, reload it, then cock it again. Yeah, that makes sense. Video game logic abounds. Barrel 3 is a good, well-rounded body type. For shotguns. And... Already... Overloaded. Well, let's look at that. A level one white TDR, and it looks like it's built from mostly basic parts. Decent body type, kind of low fire rate, but sometimes it, I think it's body four. Body four that uh, I know this is true for combat rifles and machine guns. Body four for combat rifles and machine guns. Reduces fire rate, but it adds more damage, so there's a balance there. Barrel 4 should be able to handle this. Yep. And yes, that initial shot was off center on purpose. That's an awfully short mag for a nine rounder in a shotgun. <laughs> I'll never understand I'll never understand video game logic or Borderlands logic especially. Take a swig of my drink here. <clears throat> I can Borderlands too. Flat off machine pistols always have a decent capacity, so why are they so short? Ha! <laughs> Fooled you! <laughs> you gotta say it like Dark Helmet. Fooled you! I don't usually take on Mo and Marley until I'm level 15. And haha uh -huh, have zone sportsmanship style. Level 15 and have finish him. Level 15 and have a fire weapon and an acid weapon. Wait. Now I need to pick that up. Oh, but since I did, I think that squiggly thing is the second best left side part. 
next to the three prongs. Uh, I'm having too much fun, Marcus. I like how your vision blurs when you aim. Because that sort of signifies your... Focusing on target. How did I miss two shots at that range with an SNS shotgun that has barrel full? Well, I am kind of rusty. Zone sportsmanship style up in. Yeah. Can't really cut off their tongues. That would suck. Uh, strafe the wrong way. Would suck to be a skag. And get your tongue cut off. If only I'd fired like half a second sooner. Alpha scan, this is what you need fire for. This doomstick did fairly decent damage to it. Also, if you're new to this game, <clears throat> or perhaps new to Borderlands in general, Best way to deal with skags, shoot down their throat, oh, like that, to score a critical, oftentimes blasting their <laughs> head apart, sometimes blasting their face flaps off. But you can also attack their flanks. Their armor is geared toward frontal assault, which makes them weak to ambush attacks. So down the throat or at the flanks, unless you're using an elemental weapon, in which case you don't need to worry about that. Flanks. Also, don't forget to mix it up. Add some melee in there, no matter which character you're playing. It's efficient and effective. As Roland would say, and it's also fun, most especially if you're playing as Brick or Morty. Brick and Morty. 
Morty's my fave to play as, and Brick is my second fave. And yes, there's already crossover fan art of Brick and Morty. And you're probably not the least bit surprised. Finish him! Finish him! If I was playing as Morty with Lethal Strike maxed out, that would have... Finish him! Would have only taken... Most likely one melee strike. That's what I like to see. <clears throat> I like a good, accurate machine gun. Or combat rifle. Combat rifles are, for the most part, more accurate. Their machine guns, part of what balances them out. Finish him. I hate it when people use the terms interchangeably, though, because in this game, they're distinct from each other. A combat, a combat rifle and a machine gun are two different things. The term assault rifle is used to describe both of them only in the Underdome Bank Vault. Bullseye! I saw the red markings on my compass. Target hit. I love Anshin shields. Roland especially can get really good use out of Anshin shields because he has defense. D dash F E N S. Defense. By the way, Falling Down is one of my all time favorite movies of all time. <clears throat> I don't quite want to fight Mo and Marley just yet. I'd rather be level 15 with an acid weapon and a fire weapon, and I have a good enough fire weapon to take out Marley. But I would need an acid weapon to take out mode efficiently. Slow reload. That's the typical weakness of SNS. Get that one out of my face because it's the one that's cur currently getting in my face the most. Followed by this one. I don't understand why they bother giving you level 1 junkers in this area when in the same area you can get level 13 stuff. So what was my point, the point I was trying to make, anyway? Oh yeah, uh, don't overlook shotguns. Also, 
I know that there's a whole lot more information, probably more than I could do in one video regarding exactly how to select a good shotgun. How to tell the difference between uh, worthless trashy junker, which most of them are, early on in Versus one that's serviceable versus one that's exceptional. It's, it's, uh, worthless junk, worthless junker versus serviceable versus exceptional. Always room for more loot. White label Jacobs with mostly low quality parts out of a red chest ripoff. At least it's level 13. In the early game, it's all level 1 TDR shotguns until you hit level. Wait, wait. I don't. That's not enough resale value. I can just leave it there. <clears throat> the first really good shotguns become available at level 10 which is a tier for Torg, Vladoff, and Atlas. I could probably do this while I'm here. Give me an excuse to get more use out of this shotgun because it's probably going to be outmoded once I hit level 15. What was I saying a moment ago? Well, shucks, I lost my train of thought. Why was I crouching? Oh, I know why. Because in Borderlands 2, if you if you max out your Crouching Tiger Hidden Assault Rifle challenge, there are five phases to that challenge. If you max it out, you earn the Doll Predator skin, which I do believe is the one that takes the longest to earn. It's not necessarily hard, it just takes a long time. So it has a certain prestige to it. Another level 1 Junker. Don't insult me. Level 13 is a tier for SNS, Jacobs, TDR, and Ancient, so there's no excuse to, to be finding level 1 TDR stuff in an area where you can also find level 13 TDR stuff. That sort of inconsistency just baffles my boggle. Hmm. What would be fun to use here? Maybe I should get some more use out of this. Let's see if this rocket actually hits the enemy or if it goes straight through the enemy. Did I call it or what? Who needs an electric when you can break shields like that? You really have to be playing grip to get ma maximum satisfaction out of plain old explodey rocket launchers. Everyone else is better off with elemental launchers, if you're going to use launchers at all. <laughs> now, I think he dropped the weapon he was actually using. Something else that people generally like better about this game. And it's a level 4 Flat off machine gun with a fire element.
Now you're going to wonder how I knew it was level 4, right? Because all Vladoff machine guns are level 4 on playthrough 1 in the Arid Badlands. All the regular ones anyway. You might find a level 19 one in... That one red chest on the bandit camp that's built into the mountainside. Notice how I'm intentionally aiming at his feet. Frivolous tactical reload. But for some reason, pressing the use key will also reload your weapons. Pretty sure I got those weapon parts already. <laughs> Level 2. Don't insult me. Most players drastically prefer machine guns over combat rifles. Combat rifles are more of an acquired taste, and I was that way too. When I first started playing this game over a decade ago, maybe I didn't pick up that mission. If I wasn't already financially well-to-do, I'd be scrounging and selling everything. But I don't need to do that, because I already did the get-rich-quick scheme, which I always do. By that I mean I go to T-Bone Junction as early as I can. Scrounge over-leveled stuff without aggroing those crimson bucket sluts, as Scooter calls them. <clears throat> and I sell that stuff and get rich quick. Jolt's dude does the same thing. Because, you know, why not? It's not cheating. Another point. <clears throat> Vladoff machine guns are always level 4 in the ar arid badlands on playthrough 1, and their sniper rifles are always level 5. And they didn't fix that in the, the enhanced edition. There's no logical reason for it. They should be occurring at level 10. Level 10 is a tier for Vladoff. Except for the rocket launchers, which occur at level 9. And I'm not sure why that is. Get your man's here. 
This shield is two-thirds perfectly parted. It has the best part in the middle and on the right side. And it's a blue. So, if I didn't already have what I have, and was perhaps a slightly lower level, this would be a consideration. Only by the best. If the vault is real, you'll be able to afford it. And I don't commonly use transfusion grenades. Now maybe I should. Hmm. Nah. Don't need a crouch. <laughs> it's just so instinctual by this point. It. One type of gun a lot of players Overlook, I've noticed, in Borderlands 2. Is... The doll double tap. In fact, most players don't like doll. At all. Because burst fire is an acquired taste, and so is select fire. Most players want full auto. I don't think I ever noticed that before. That red light. Hmm. I notice something new every time I play any Borderlands game, any of them. Yeah, I should not on some of these chisps. And a radish. Now I need a swig of my drink. and radishes. Alphas and Vegetoid both approve. At least in my head can. Skipping the Junkers. Because not enough resale value. You were again, shot. Oh. Critical Better all the time. Now I'm level fifteen. <clears throat> so I should be on the lookout for level fifteen. Hyperion and Malawan weapons. I named him Jax after the cyborg guy from 
what is it? Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, if I recall. Hyperion goes from 6 to 15. And then from 15 to 24. Then 33. Then 42. Manufacturer level tier system is rescinded between levels 46 and 50. Pop skull. Well, see now, there's a level 13 TDR. <clears throat> I think I might try to save the... Watch the Medusa. Save my shotgun ammo for the Roid Rage. Psycho. Come closer. I can almost smell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. I love SNS. I think one of the funnestest Allegiance runs would be SNS Morty. don't get revolvers, but what you do get is All right, we got guns over here. two whites in a red chest ripoff, and one of them's an underleveled flat off. <clears throat> so SNS Morty. What do you get with that allegiance? You get. Hey there, stranger! This way, please! Gunslinger class mod. And open! Ranger class mod. Also the Truxican Wrestler class mod. This will help. <laughs> Troll chest. Is it at least a level 13 Teddy? Oh, come on, let's get down. Yeah. Come on. Decent barrel, I think. Low accuracy, I think that might be barrel two. Barrel two. Offers more damage but less accuracy compared to barrel one.
I love how you can see details like haze or dust under the lights. <laughs> Ever notice how revolver cylinders in this game are hinged backwards? That peg thing that the revolver's cylinder is attached to is called a crane. It should be hinged in front of the cylinder, not behind it, because otherwise how else would the cartridges go in? here what were they doing here bleh always nice to get resupply another level five another troll chest ripoff another level five flat off If I'm going to use a sniper rifle, <clears throat> as anyone other than Morty, at this point in the game, I want one that has some oomph to it. Preferably an exploding one. By the way, the only elemental sniper rifles that proc per shot that are not legendary or unique are exploding ones. So if you're going to use an elemental sniper rifle favor exploding ones. Otherwise, the only ones that proc per shot, to my knowledge, are the SNS Orion and the Malawan Volcano. Is that a level 15 Malawan or a level 7? It's a 15. And it's an exploding, just like what I was talking about. But it's a white, so I'm gonna leave it. And it's built out of cheap parts. Barrel one, sight one, stock two. Stock two isn't bad. And yes, the stock makes a significant difference in this game. On sniper rifles. Morty has skills that tame sniper rifle recoil and improve handling characteristics. So he can override some of those weaknesses more easily. I always thought it was funny how these pipes form a staircase right here. That's got to be an OSHA violation. Doesn't this open up? What am I missing here? 
usually uh, let's call them tanks come out of these whatever you call those alcoves Come on! Oh. I hate it when I'm not able to do something just because the game derped out. Okay, fine, screw it. This door opens up after you head back through after defeating you know who. What else was there to discuss? I know what I'll do. Keep it, sell it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Good barrel, good sight. That's barrel five. It has body one. It's a thumper. Most players hate thumpers. Lil can override their weakness, which is fire rate, with her quicksilver skill. I think Roland, yeah. Roland can also override that weakness. He's got Metal Storm. This rifle is not intense enough. <laughs> the intense prefix indicates crit bonus. This has barrel three, body one, stock one, sight one, and an 18 round mag. Combat rifles will always have a base mag capacity of 12 or 18 rounds, which are both skimpy. Obviously, 18 is what you want. Even though neither really makes sense. Bare minimum should be 30, logically speaking. For gameplay purposes, I guess, if they really wanted to be lame like that, What they should have done is instead of 12, it should be 21. Instead of 18, it should be 27. And instead of 21 for the Raven, it should be 30 for the Raven. Those would all make perfect sense. 
and would balance combat rifles out more with machine guns. Notice how each of those is increased by 9. 12 to 21, 18 to 27, 21 to 30. Coincidentally, <clears throat> the, the manu manufacturer level tiers upon reaching Upon, uh, how should I phrase this, becoming consistent in the way they progress, occur at intervals of nine. For example, SNS 13, 22, 31, 40. Until the manufacturer level tier system is rescinded between levels 46 and 50. More pellets, but less damage per pellet. Also, 30.7, not bad. I hate shotgun scopes, I really do. I do like, sp I do like spikes on shotguns. Spikes, blades, bayonets, pig stickers. You don't need a scope on a shotgun, even if it has high accuracy. As a matter of fact, you don't need scopes on every single weapon. The vast majority of fighting takes place at close to medium range. Most of the time, iron sights are all you need. Sometimes you get a gun that has an incomplete set of sights, like a revolver with barrel one, like this has. Notice how the rear sight is flat. It has neither a notch nor a groove. For gameplay purposes, yeah, you can work around that, but in, in real life, no, you get fired for designing something like that. That's decent. Built from basic parts, but it's a Torg SMG. Torg sniper rifle with barrel 2, low accuracy. Torg sniper rifles are at their best if they have barrel 3 or better. Barrel 4. It's really good to have on a tour because that means a powerful barrel type on a powerful brand. Best part right side. Best part in the middle. Best part in the middle. Bled. Or met. Just hanging out till the shops change over. Hyperion asks, what gun is a gun that doesn't shoot where you point? Get a gun that's as accurate as you are. First time I played this game, I really hated shotgun scopes. When I saw scopes on shotguns, I was like, what, are you, what the hell are you doing? Why would you do that? And oftentimes I still feel that way. 
that when I first read about Borderlands 2, look at that fire. But of course it's flat off. I saw an image of a perfectly parted Jacob's coach gun. Of course, at the time, I didn't realize it was perfectly parted. It was only after I researched the parts and recalled that memory that I realized that's what I was looking at. I think it was purple label, too. <clears throat> Because it had a scope. Hey, over a double here. barrel shotgun oh, with yeah, a scope. You. And a stockless pistol grip. Because that's what the Jacobs stock <gasps> looks like. Only it's not a stock, it's a grip. And in Borderlands 2 nomenclature, on shotguns, the forearm is referred to as a grip. Just total incompetence. But I almost thought that I would pay that Borderlands 2 no mind whatsoever because it was obvious, it was obvious to me that they hadn't learned any lessons from the first game because they were still putting scopes on shotguns. And that was so insulting to me. Uh, how would you react if you were at the range and you saw someone with a shotgun that had not only a stockless pistol grip, but also a scope. You'd laugh at them. You'd laugh your head off. Because I don't even think a range ninja would do that. You don't need optics on a shotgun. Maybe a short-range optic if you intend to use it as a dedicated slug gun, if it has a rifle bore. But more often than not, rifle sights will do you just fine. Or ghost range sights. Now, do I feel like going all the way back to the safe house? By the way, TC stands for Tactical Commandeer. It's either Tactical Command or Tactical Commandeer. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Yeah, you can tell it's been a while for me since I've played the early game, you have to get the mine gate key. And this whole time I wasn't even paying attention to my mapping magic. Alright, so. Fire. And shot. Finish you. Psych. Not all SNS shotguns have reload that's quite so slow. It's mostly their machine guns that have that. I mean, A lot of SNS guns have slow reload, but it's most noticeable with their machine guns. Get my machine safe. Scary and always got the Marcos with the best guns around. 
I don't often use longbow. Maybe I should. Who knows what you're gonna find in the vault? Make sure you're packing. I've always found longbow grenades to be counterintuitive because I'm so accustomed to looking up slightly before tossing a grenade. Which, as you know, you don't do with a longbow. say I meant to do that, but that would be an outright fabrication. Good arm, whoever's throwing at me. Those People who did these voices must have had so much fun. I think this <coughs> chest usually contains stuff. Do you see those buzz axes coming in? Dude's got an amazing arm. Between levels 19 and 25. But I think there's also a chance that it could be as low as 16. Which is a tier for Doll and Pangolin. And level 25 is a tier for Doll, Malawan, and Pangolin. So it, just, it doesn't make sense that you would find sometimes level 16 stuff in the same chest that you would more typically find level 20, 25 stuff in. It just it doesn't make any sense. Acid Rain, that's a keeper. Heavy Gunner, that's a keeper. Both level 19. Merv. Keeper. That's 22, yeah. Glad I came here. Well, he's got an SNS machine gun. It's probably level 13, though it could be level 6. It's got. Sounds like it has body 2. It's either body two or body four, most likely body two. Another notch on my way. Body two. Called it. 
It has the same barrel as my Torg, which is barrel three. Good, well-rounded barrel type. I think that's stock three. Stock type makes more of a difference on a torque because torque guns can have heavier recoil. I've got my first class mod. It'll be four levels before I can use it, but still. And it's a good one. It's a model 250, so it's not the best, but it's a five line blue. Not bad, not bad. That's really good for a first class mod. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. And so is this acid rain grenades. Oh. No. I'll have to choose between these two. Won't really need them both. <clears throat> I'm, nev I'm never entirely sure what I like best when it comes to grenades. Level four, Vladov. With body four, which is why it has the slower than usual firing. By the way, that red chest that I got the class mod out of, you can sometimes find legendaries in that. Lowest level legendaries you're likely to find there, level 19. Which is a tier for... Torg, flat off, and Atlas. Which means... That. The legendaries you're likely to find in there will most commonly be Torg or Vladov. Good luck finding an Atlas one. You might luck out. And then score one of those. But <laughs> They say Atlas's stuff is the rarest. I do believe that's true. Also, check these lockers here as often as you can because you'll sometimes find class mods here. I was watching a stream on Twitch. The streamer was playing as Roland and I predicted that their first class mod would be a level 19 flat off support gunner and in this locker right here they found a level 22 SNS support gunner class mod even better than what I had predicted and in the place that I advised them to look I mean I didn't predict exactly which locker it would be but uh, still I like it when I I make an educated prognostication and it turns out to be well advised. I 
got the ride. I know I've explained in past Not videos enough. why I like to spawn two vehicles, but it's been a while, so I can explain it again. It's because. The secondary vehicle acts as a convenient means of fast travel. Just gives you extra options. Baz. This will help. Jacob's caster working really well. Oh. Power. And honestly, what else do you need? A hunter's shotgun. I'll take a look at that. That sniper rifle right there is a doll. Is it level 16? It is. Liquid sniper. I forget what the liquid prefix indicates. It has barrel five. Sight four. Stock one, but it's a doll, so that might not matter quite as much. Good enough body type. I don't really know shotgun body types or sniper rifle body types. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that. That's a level 9 launcher, and I've got a 10, and it's a Torg. Keep the one I've got. I eh, wouldn't mind having a good SMG. Eh, skip that. Barrel 1, Sight 1, Stock 1. Not sure what kind of body, but I'm guessing it's probably Body 1. So that's a very basic sniper rifle right there. Oh, I see an Atlas shield. It's probably level 10, and it's a purple, and it has the best part on the right side. The soda can looking thing. Called it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Sell it. Keep it. Keep it. Sell it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Sell it. Sell it. I just don't commonly use sticky grenades. <clears throat> sometimes I think I like Merv better than Ray. And sometimes I think I like Bouncing Betty better than Merv. And by the way, rubberized grenades are actually good in this game. So don't overlook those. All I need is the mine gate key. I'm going to skip all the echoes and stuff. Save that for some other time.
If only this SNS shotgun was a spiked brute. The SNS spiked brute might actually be the overall best. I know in the past I've said it was the SNS spike death, but that was because at the time I was thinking that the death was buffed by Morty's Ranger class mod, if it's a good enough and built from material too. But if I'm mistaken about that, then the brute is the better one. And according to the Borderlands wiki, The death is good, but the brute is typically prioritized over the death. <laughs> Action movie. How do I miss with a knife? How, I mean, really, how do I miss with a knife? because enemies in this game are spastic, or some of them can be. Why does that happen twice? I was never entirely clear how or why that occurs. When I did my first let's play two whites and a red chest. The moment it opened up I knew they were going to be white. Two whites and a red chest. Rip off. Save that for some other time. I might change my mind on that. Kill it all! Metallica's first album. Kill them all. I do like rubberized nades in Borderlands 1. They're completely different from how they are in Borderlands 2. you miss. Finish him. In this game, you can rebound them off walls and ceilings to nail enemies behind corners, indoors. Anyway, so rubberized grenades in this game are best used as indoor offensive grenades as opposed to being outdoor and ha! defensive I mean not that you not that you have to use them in such a specific fashion as indoor and outdoor it's just more often than not if you're using Well, let me rephrase. <clears throat> if you're using specifically <laughs> stuck on nothing. If you're using specifically rubber nades, then they're best used indoors. Wow! You're not dead! It's the best level story. I know be uh, stuff that's better than that 
can appear in there. I think it's when you come back here later on. There you are. <sighs> All right. Now, did I grab that one tennis echo? Because if I grab the one, I might as well get the rest. No, I didn't. It's still there. I'll leave it there. <clears throat> now... I need to go stash stuff. You might be wondering why I'm level 15 if I still have all this early game stuff to do. It's because I originally built this character for co-op with a particular person, but that was a long time ago. And that didn't last. A lot of people lose interest. in this game. In their case, I don't think it's so much that they lost interest in it just because they, they had a lot going on. Despite the stats, these two are probably close to being evenly matched. And I haven't used an SMG for a time. Or a sniper rifle. I think my current guild, my current weapons and gear are good enough to take on Mo and Marley, but I'm still going to hold off on that. And I wonder why Hyperion Dump is is listed above Sledge's safe house. That doesn't make any sense. That should be down here. All DLC missions should be listed below the core game missions. I don't understand why that's such a difficult concept to grasp. By the way, this SMG has barrel one and body one, so it's basic. But still, not bad, not bad.
I'll try to use my shotgun on the Roid Rage Psycho, but I probably won't use only the shotgun. Mix it up with a combination. Wait, what are my character colors? Yeah, kind of like a doll shirt, and then red and blue mellow one. You can't ever be too rich, too good looking, or too well armed. Who needs a real doctor when you got my machines in there, scary needles? Planning ahead. <laughs> that mag it looks like a drum, but it's actually semi-circular. How much sense does that make? I mean, how do they figure... How does that work? A semi-circular magazine? Or a drum? Do you have any idea how... How or why a complex shape like that doesn't work for a magazine spring? It would constantly have too much stress Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Nope. There. See that side? It's flat. Doesn't make any sense. The left side makes sense, the right side doesn't. I don't understand it. I don't understand style over substance design choices. I mean, things work the way they do for a reason. So why screw with that? Ah, forget these guys. Should get some use out of these longbow grenades. <laughs> Junker is still there. White ones will disappear. More quickly. I, I don't know really how long they stay. Oh, 
Oh, you know that hurt. But I know white ones don't stay long. Green ones stay significantly longer. Level 1 TDR. Why? Tink. Tink, tink. Tink, 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 tink. Oops. I wonder if they got Tink from Dink from Spaceballs. Or if Tink is intended to be a reference to the Dinks from Spaceballs. Oh, come on. That part right there, some people have trouble with. You can look right over it. And unless its icon shows up, you might not notice it. I've gone off on a tangent, haven't I? Ah, first aid kit. You won't Two thirds perfectly parted. Let's see how that compares. Sticking with what I've got. So, what can we deduce? Here. We've got a level 13 Ancient Shield and a level 15 Hyperion Shield. And they're both purple. And they have. The same middle part and the same right side part, only the left side part is different. And the lower level one has higher capacity. And also lower recharge rate despite being an ancient. But that might have something to do with the level difference. So if Hyperion occurred at level 13, which it doesn't, but if it did, well, the recharge rate is only one point of difference. Well, we can conclude that that is likely the result of the level difference. And the capacity is likely the result of the left side part. A sniper without a sniper comm is just a guy with a gun. Find the comm that's right for you. The best defense is not a good offense. It's a good defense. So give yourself a shield. I still say that's a cool logo. I still don't have an element an elemental upgrade for for that. Scorpio Now, since I've already gone through here, I've already opened up all the ammo thingamadoozers. I went this way last time. I was wondering if I'd gotten that 12 days of Pandora on this character. Stuck on... what? Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him!
It took more melee swipes than, than I thought it would. I don't need... Obviously, I don't need that. I always respect my Rollins. Depending on whether I'm playing solo or co-op. You don't need to focus on capstone skills on playthrough one, so it's perfectly all right to spread your skills out. But I do tend to prefer to put five into one at a time, then move on to the next five. Whereas some players will be like one here, one here, here, and here, and here. They go one at a time, I go five at a time. Oh. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> there. I know I have that level 16 doll sniper rifle, but I don't need to go back to my Underdome base camp just for that, because this on, is a... CQC area. Don't need a sniper rifle. favorite meat puppet song. Get your ass gone! Another pop skull. Level two. Where are you? Why are you using a level two doll? You should be using at least a level ten tor. Finish him. Well, I guess since I was already here, that's why this, this specific guys aren't coming back. Now the Tinks will be here.
Alright, I have worked in so many places that looked so much like this. Not in a garage, though. I've worked in a mattress factory, an orthopedics plant. All right, what should I use? Masher shotgun machine gun. The trick to this, don't hide down in that alcove place. What you want to do is keep sprinting. Just run around in a circle, run around in this arena. It'll make it less likely that you'll get blown up by those giant grenades. Oh, I chose the wrong time to try to take a shot. Heck. Of course, you would. Someone would shove me into a corner when I'm stuck on rock. That's dirty cool. Stuck. I mean, not stuck, but grenade, grenade, grenade. Leave the tanks for last. Stuck on something. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Did you know the same guy who voiced Dr. Claw also did the voice of Slim Reezer from House 2, The Second Story? Brody. You should be able to get into the mine now. There's nothing between you and Sledge, and we're one step closer to the vault. I believe in you. I don't think I've ever taken the time to really look closely at this mo character model. <laughs> it's really detailed. At one point, I worked in a factory where I had to package nails. And that job was really tough as nails, as they say. Because I had to be able to grab a handful of nails and throw them into a box and have it be the exact uh, number and weight that it was supposed to be each and every time, with only a few seconds in between. That job sucked. Still having, still bearing the Torg logo. Emil from Robocop. Oh, 
A realistic weakness of machine pistols in this game is if they don't have an optical attachment. then that muzzle flash blinds you. At least right there at your point of aim. Will I get a message from Commandant Steele? That's something that you get in Enhanced when you exit here. After beating the Roid Rage Psycho, you get a message from Commandant Steele. Also, if you have all the DLC which I think is a standard package with Enhanced, then you don't have to trek all that way back to Firestone. You can go to any of these places. Underdome is what I typically do, and then fast travel to Firestone from there. I use the Underdome lobby as my base of operations. Best part, right side. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I bought duplicates. Not a big deal since I've got money to burn. An Anshin, a perfectly parted Anshin, has the same recharge rate as this Pangolin. So that has to have, that has to have something to do with the level difference rather than the parts. Barrel one on this one. It's not going to be as good as what I've got. Called it. Barrel five. Barrel one. Site four. Site four. Stock one. Stock five. I think that is. And I don't know body types on sniper rifles. Notice how that stock right there appears to have a grip on it. Uh, not a grip. But, uh, what do they call that? A monopod. Not like what some professional grade high accuracy rifles have. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. And this one too since it doesn't have an element. Even though its stats are better than both of these, but both of these have elements. My duplicate level 16 bouncing Betty. And I can say goodbye to that. Retire my very good, perfectly parted purple ancient shield.
And I think there's one more thing I might do before I call him. Notice how this scope appears to have a backup reflex sight on top, but it's not functional. Also in Borderlands 2, the doll sniper rifle scope was like that. It's just for show. But in Borderlands 3, doll guns can have combination sights. Functional combination sights, which is awesome. Increases versatility. There's so many FPS games that have Halo style vehicle controls. Everything you've faced up until now has been simple. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do not underestimate him. I might as well check the shops here. Might score a class mod. I usually like to do absolutely absolutely everything else there is to do prior to Headstone Mine, before I do Headstone Mine. Headstone Mine gives a lot of first-time players a hard time. Because a lot of people, their first time playing this, will try to take on Headstone Mine under level and they'll get their asses handed to them because of it. And I'm pretty sure the same thing happened to me. <laughs> but I learned from it. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. Not much for pounders, most aren't, but as far as pounders go, this would be a good one if it had a, bar a better barrel. It has barrel 1, body 5, stock 5, and sight 1. During my first Let's Play of Borderlands 1 as Morty, which I started years ago, I had, at level 15, or somewhere around level 15, I found a level 15 Explody Go Nuts Malawan Hawkeye. And the Hawkeye in this game is rarer than most legendary. So it's a type of sniper rifle. Pump actuated revolving sniper rifle made by a few different manufacturers. I forget who all makes them. In my opinion, Malawan makes the best. An exploding Malawan Hawkeye is, in my opinion, the best variant. Pretty sure Hawkeyes always have barrel five. Right. Mm. 
Now, the last thing I wanted to do... <clears throat> ...was chuck a couple of red chests. Several different ways I could go. Really, two different ways I could go to get there. I took the back way. Two thirds perfectly parted. I keep finding shields with good parts. I like it best when my shield, my total shield charge capacity is somewhere close to my current health, current max health. Will this be a troll chest as it usually is? is of course. Would be a good opportunity to test this out. Already impressed. Yeah, I was quoting a handsome Jack. Most of you probably picked up on that. Same level as my shield. Target hit. Meet your maker. On higher difficulties, you can sometimes encounter these guys battling skags back here in this little alcove. Notice the view sway and recoil because of the stock quality. Slightly compensated for because this is a doll. If it was a different brand, that would be more even more noticeable. That's why I say stock quality matters a little bit less on a doll. And it depends on weapon type too, like sniper rifle for Morty, combat rifle for Roland. Oops. Oh, please don't do this to me. Doggone it. Oh. Thank 
that even even enemies get stuck on scenery in this game. Barrel five. Up in the kill cap. Patient. Combat rifle, looks like it has an 18 round mag, looks like a TDR, probably level 13, but is it a Cobra or a Stomper? Because it might actually be good if it's either of those. Has barrel 3, stock 1, body 3, sight 2. how it compares to the Torg. I'm going to predict that it's better than the, than the Torg, stat-wise anyway. It has the same barrel and the same body type. Ah. Well, they're actually pretty close to evenly matched. One being burst fire and the other being full auto. And the full auto one deals more damage per shot, despite the three levels of difference, because of All course, for two whites and a red chest rip off. Barrel two, mag four, which is technically a cylinder. If this combat rifle was a stomper with all these same parts, it would be truly awesome. Even though it's TDR, it would still be awesome. the other one yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll the vehicle. Now I'll check the shops one last time and call it and while I'm out here I might as well get some use out of this see it's not bad at all if you get a combat rifle with parts like this, try it out. Especially if it's a Cobra or Stomper. This is my favorite sight, Sight 2. Which in my opinion should be Sight 1 and should have the least amount of zoom. Maybe even no zoom at all since it's a dot sight and not a scope. Somehow, for some reason, they gave Site 2 more zoom than Site 1. Well, obviously because it's Site 2 versus Site 1. 
But see, that that's my point, though. Why not make site one the dot site? And site two the lowest zoom scope? It just doesn't make any sense. Best part, right side. Could you imagine how awesome it would be at any point in the game, at any level, to have a perfectly parted purple panacea? The top of the line TD or shield. Um, should I retire it? Should I retire my everything below level 13? Oh, that says level 12. It's actually level 13. You have to de-equip a weapon to your inventory to see its true level. And they didn't get rid of that in Enhanced. And I don't know why. Yeah, I'll go ahead and retire everything below level 13. If you're doing an allegiance run, all your weapons and gear can potentially last nine levels because of that intervals of nine things. Well, those tanks have respawned. Not yet. Stall makes the best stompers. This one doesn't have the best parts, but it's a stomper, and it has the best material type. Barrel 1, Body 5, Stock 1, Sight 1, Chintzy, Skimpy, 12 round mag, but it's a stomper. So now what do I do? Do I sell this? Just because it's a TDR? Or just because it's a combat rifle? But it has good parts, aside from the Type 1 stock. This has... Oh, I see a pattern here. Barrel 3. Body 3. No. Almost. I was going to say Barrel 3. Body 3. Stock 1. Site 3. But that's Site 2. And then this one is barrel one body five stock one sight one never mind <laughs> my mind brain was trying to concoct a pattern where there was none i like patterns i have good pattern recognition i think that's a right brain trait I'm tempted to check that one red chest here while I'm here, but I don't think I'm going to. Just the shops. Get your meds here. Oh! Well, now this takes me back. Look at that recharge rate. These shields are pretty close to evenly matched. This takes me back to when I was doing my Doll Allegiance run as Lil, and I didn't get a shield till I was level 20. And it was right here in this shop when I finally got it. And it was a level 16 
purple doll shield. And it had the best part on the left side. And I think it had the urban material type, which I'm pretty sure is the second best. Yeah, second best material type for doll. Which means it was probably close to evenly matched with this, which has two thirds best parts. Has the best left side part and the best right side part. I'm tempted to buy it. I mean, look at that recharge rate, 59. But look at the capacity difference. Yeah, they're mostly, I'd say, close to evenly matched. Oh. That's tempting. That's not. If that was a masher, I'd totally buy it. It has barrel five, body one, which typically grants a fire rate of 1.0, but this is an atlas, so it gets a little bit more. And I think that's a Mag-4 cylinder. It's still called Mag-4, even though it's a cylinder. So that's a six-shot cylinder, and it's the best of all the six-shot cylinders. But I'm not sure how it affects reload speed. I'm still not entirely sure what affects, which part affects reload speed with a revolver. What, what it is, it determines whether or not you have to put up with that stupid, lame, over-exaggerated reload animation that you get with some revolvers. But you never get that with a TDOR. Because, <clears throat> you know, TDOR is all about that reload speed. In the market for a level 15 Hyperion shotgun or a level 16 doll shotgun. And right there, a level 16 doll shotgun, but it's built entirely from, well, mostly from low quality parts. It has barrel one, mag one. Not sure what body it has, but I'm sure it's better than body one because it has a fire rate of 1.1. And dolls, I know, can be as low as 0 0.8, which is as low as I will typically go with a combat shotgun. Look at this, all this white garbage. White labeled garbage. And the one green is the only item of the day. I mean, don't insult me, Marcus. Best part right side. Tempted. Oh, why not? Why not? Mm. 
A clip is a device other than a speed loader. About that. A clip is a device other than a speed loader used for loading a magazine or cylinder. I know level 28. Well, I think level 28 is the lowest level of stuff you can find here in T-Bone Junction on playthrough one. But if I'm mistaken about that, then it's level 25. But I just found a level 34, which is the next tier up from 25. So, oh. Well, it has barrel one. It's an S and S though. Gonna be level 31, I imagine. It's a spiked something. Spiked shotgun. Ah! Sell it. You don't need scopes on shotguns, especially if they have any barrel other than barrel 5, and that one has barrel 1. Barrel 2 is the least accurate. But barrel 1 has terrible, clunky iron sights. Not an issue if it has an optic, an optical attachment of any sort. Still, it's the principle of the thing. Only by the best. If the vault is real, you'll be able to afford it. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Don't really need to, but that means um, I, uh, I must have been playing this character differently from how I usually play characters in the early game. <clears throat> because I usually will do that mission just to get some early XP. You have to be very careful when you do it because if those crimson bucket sluts catch up to you, you dead. Because they're like level 30 something, I think. You can't contend with them. That is, if you're doing the, the get rich quick scheme and trying to score some early XP, you just want to get the the parts the scooter needs. I don't understand why you have to jump over that. Such video game logic. Armaments here. I don't like Malawan shotgun. Don't proc per shot. If I'm going to use an elemental weapon, it needs to be either full auto or it needs to proc reliably per shot.
Oh, I just missed it. I should have gone there first. It doesn't matter anyway. It's going to be over-leveled stuff. Ha ha. Stock one on a machine gun. Normally you would never see that because stock one is for combat rifles, not machine guns. You can tell by that grip that it's Atlas. Barrel two, body five, stock one. That almost looks like what a TDOR machine gun would look like if TDOR made machine guns instead of combat rifles. It has barrel five, body three, stock five. Eh, I don't need to check that up there. Thought I might score an overleveled legendary. Something that would be worth stashing for later. Since the shops have changed over, I guess now I have to check them all over again before I call it. Can't resist. I have to know. Going after the vault. Better arm yourself with the best. I mean, Marcus just said it right there. Arm yourself with the best. Almost doubled my cash. Well, not quite doubled, but more like, oh, I don't know how much. I had uh, something like 3.2. Six figures, starting with 3.2. And now I have 5.3. And you can tell I'm... My mind brain is thinking in terms of millions. <laughs> because I'm accustomed to... Playing more advanced characters, and by that I mean farther into the game. What do you need but I intentionally chose a lower level character for this excursion. Because... Well, precisely because it's closer to the early game, and it's in the early game that most people develop a distaste for shotguns in this game, precisely because the vast majority of them are trash. Hey. Not accurate enough. Well, now I have a Stomper and a Cobra. Barrel 5, Body 1, Stock 1, Site 2. Two-thirds perfect parts. Wait. It wasn't too long ago that I came across one exactly like this, Purple Hyperion, with this sitting with all these same parts. What are the chances of that? What what are the odds on that 3PO? Encountering two of the exact same thing. That's it's the same level, same manufacturer, same label color, and same parts. What are the chance of, chances? What what are the odds of that happening? I used to be a galaxy class scientist. I've been reduced to a babbling hang on. Hang on? What do you mean by that? What are the odds of finding two of the exact exact same thing during the same gameplay session in this game? I 
I could check all the Arid Badlands shops all over again, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> The fruit seller one would be worth checking. Not good enough parts. Everything else is good. I mean, it's a blue. It's a level 16 doll. It has the best doll material type, desert. And it has nothing else to override that prefix, so it has the desert prefix. Eh, I'm only interested in mashers and elemental revolvers. And only if they have a bare minimum accuracy of 89. So I think the desert is why this has a 0 0.9 fire rate instead of 0 0.8. But don't quote me on that. Uh, it should compare. Two-thirds perfect parts, left side and middle. Well, <laughs> I just don't need this battle rifle anymore. Now, I should give it one last dance, but not, I don't need to show that, it just has, the parts are too good, that's what I'm getting at, now I don't need to, oh, I can sell it, it's a TDR, I don't need to get sentimental about a TDR, yeah, but the parts, the parts! I mean, how often do you find a combat rifle with an 18-round mag instead of a 12-rounder that also has good parts? Manufacturer notwithstanding. Cobras are typically preferred over stompers. But don't overlook stompers. Barrel 1, body 5, stock 1, sight 1. Barrel 5, body 1, stock 1, sight 2. Level 13, not 12. See? I think I've done what I set out to do. What did I set out to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, illustrate that shotguns in this game don't suck. They are worth using. And hopefully uh, you learned something that's not too confusing about how to pick a good one in this game. And I might or might not do more videos like this in the future, uh, perhaps illustrating even better ones. Uh, you know, give me something to do, like a new series or some such thing, I don't know. At any rate, that's it for this one, so catch you on the flip side, and see you next mission, slabs.